American Farm Bureau National Convention, and this year, yes, a virtual one is underway right now. Stronger Together, that's the theme for this year's convention. Technically, it goes through January 13th, but there are some follow-up meetings after that as well. Karen Schaefer, Executive Director of Minnesota Farm Bureau Federation is with us right now. Karen, we talked after the state convention only a few weeks ago, but welcome to our broadcast and also our Facebook and website cast as well. Good to have you with us. Thank you for having me, always a pleasure. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on. Again, originally this was supposed to be in San Diego. Well, none of us are there. We're back home doing what we do, but there's a, a huge registration pool that's been put together. And I, that's across the country, of course, probably worldwide, but also Minnesota has a lot of people who are signed up and will be continuing to sign up, correct? Correct. So the advantage of having it virtually is we could reach more of our members uh, from across the state and across the country. And uh, with a free registration, uh, it's a perfect opportunity for our members to explore what the American Farm Bureau Convention is all about. So uh, to date, uh, we have about 175 of our members that are registered for the convention, but they can keep registering as um, the next couple of days transpires. So we're hoping that that number only increases. And do you have to be a Farm Bureau member to be able to sign up? That's the, the best part. You do not have to be a Farm Bureau member. We obviously hope that folks come uh, and learn more about Farm Bureau and the organization and want to join afterward, but it's kind of a nice benefit to uh, test the waters before you jump in with a membership. You know, we're recording this on Monday, and I was looking at, you know, some of the things that were going on for Monday, first of all, and there are some great workshops throughout this whole event. Uh, they had an outlook for 2021, cattle markets, farmer consumer engagement, post-COVID consumer priorities. And that's a big one right now too, uh, looking at that. But a lot of these workshops are really, really special and great for anyone to be able to take in, certainly our friends in the uh, ag business. Correct, there's two kind of lanes here. We have our uh, concurrent featured workshops. Uh, which uh, you can choose which ones you want to attend. We're hoping that they get recorded, recorded and get released as well to those who register. Um, but then there's also what we call on-demand workshops. So there's over a dozen workshops that have already been recorded um, and that you can click on when you get into the registration component and you're able to view those at any point in time. So depending on what you're interested in, if it's more the, the kind of economic component, if it's political, if it's the consumer engagement, there's so much that we have to learn here. And particularly this last year has been a stretch for agriculture in general and consumer insight. And what a great way to kind of capture all of that in one platform. Karen, I also noticed that uh, they were having an update on Monday, again, as we're recording this, uh, a Washington update, kind of looking at the 117th Congress, the new Biden administration, what might be shaping an ag policy in the coming year. And that's of interest to everybody for sure. It is of interest to everyone. I flagged that one. It's coming up here in a couple hours, so I will be uh, all ears. Not only uh, is this kind of a unique time politically, but then you throw in the current events that have been happening over the last several days. And uh, there is nothing to me more relevant and more current than hearing directly from those who study this stuff and figuring out how the next four years may look and how we as agricultural uh, leaders in the community have to maybe um, come up with a, a strategic game plan to make sure that our message is heard. Karen Schaefer is with us on our broadcast and uh, we are going to take just a short little pause for the cause. Karen is the executive director of the uh, Minnesota Farm Bureau Federation. Stay with us. We're back after this very brief radio timeout. Karen Schaefer continues to be with us, Executive Director of Minnesota Farm Bureau. Karen, good to be with us. You know, last year, you and I were doing an interview, uh, where were we, in Texas. You had just participated in the uh, Excellence in Agriculture, I believe, wasn't it? Correct. Yep. So it, a year has passed, and what a turn of events. Um, the exciting thing is those contests, those young farmer and rancher contests uh, happen annually. And so Minnesota is really excited. We have uh, excellent contestants this year. Maddie Weniger from Wright County is competing in our discussion meet contest uh, that is open to the public and folks can watch. 
Uh, and then we also have Lucas and Elise Schulstrom of Stearns County, who are competing in the Excellence in Agriculture contest, which is what I competed in last year. Uh, and so it's, it's also open to the public and we're anxious to watch them here on Monday afternoon. And our upcoming broadcast will include conversations with Maddie and also Lucas and Elise. So we look forward to that. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, the virtual aspect, you and I talked a little bit about this before we started recording. Is some of this going to take off into the future because people might say, yeah, it's fun to go, but maybe more people now might want to grab hold and do the virtual thing and be able to watch it from their home? I completely think that this will kind of look different next year. I think there will be a resurgence of folks who want to come face to face, participate in a lot of the things that we do face to face, which are frankly easier to do when we're in person. But I wholeheartedly believe that components of the virtual conference will likely uh, be moving forward into 2022. Uh, hopefully it's a way just to spread the word further and to a greater audience of the great speakers and the great workshops that are held uh, at this convention and be able to kind of bring our membership together from across the whole uh, United States. Offhand, if someone's interested, in, again, looking at things for this convention, just uh, Google American Farm Bureau Convention. They should get information and be able to find out how to sign up. Correct. The easiest way is either Google or to go to fb.org. And right on the homepage, it has all the information about the big convention as this is kind of the biggest, most exciting thing that we're doing right now. FB as in Farm Bureau, FB.org. And just real quickly, again, some big keynote speakers still coming up that folks might want to take, uh, take in, correct? Correct. So this afternoon, which is Monday, um, we are going to hear from Beth Ford, the CEO of Lando Lakes. Uh, we also have coming up Mike Rowe. Many people are familiar with Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs, yeah. um, but he's also, he, he's done a variety of things and really focuses on the trades and focusing on um, education for college and high school age students. Uh, and then also Rourke Denver, who is a Navy SEAL commander, uh, is going to be addressing the group as well. And I love those inspirational messages um, from people who have, have lived it and have uh, great stories and experiences to share. Karen, appreciate your time. Again, this is our first of several broadcasts that we'll have on throughout the Inkstead Minnesota Radio Network, also on Facebook and on our website. So we'll have a number of these as well. So we appreciate it kind of getting us ramped up. Again, we've got a lot of fun people we're going to be talking to, including the Showstroms and Maddie Winnegar and uh, Kevin Papp will be with us and a number of other folks from your staff as well. Karen, thanks so much for your time. Always great to have you with us. Karen Schaefer, Executive Director Minnesota Farm Bureau Federation. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Jim.